Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to compare Google Now to Siri. Now both of these are kind of in beta. Uh, Google Now is actually in a developer preview of Jelly Bean, which this is on a Galaxy Nexus, which should be out hopefully within a couple weeks for those that are still able to get a Galaxy Nexus. Siri, this is the newer version that does more things on iOS 6. They're both developer versions, so they're not technically finalized, but I thought we'd go over them a little bit and see how they compare to one another. Google Now is more of a service, and the reason I say that is if we go into it by holding the home button and sliding up, tap or slide, we don't really have to hold it. You can also get to that with the lock screen. We hold Siri or we activate Siri by holding down the home button. I'll do that in a moment. But as you can see here, it says 21 minutes to work. It knows where I work, it knows where I live, and is telling me that the traffic is light and it's the normal route I take is Route 57 to I-90 on the thruway. Now you do have to opt in and allow it to do this. It actually asks you, so it is a little bit creepy if they were to do that without asking you. However, now that they ask you, you know what you're getting into, hopefully, and it's watching me. And it watches what my searches are, and it will suggest things like the weather. Uh, normally it actually has the weather up here. Uh, it, it knows that I check that frequently and it throws the weather in there, but it's more of a service on Google now. And the reason I say that is because it's providing you these services. So if you have a meeting, it will let you know ahead of time that there's a meeting because it's seen actually in your calendar. So it does some different things than Siri. Siri's meant to be more of a digital assistant, according to Apple. So we'll go ahead and test some things that are similar on here and see how they compare, although they're not exactly the same. So let's first try, uh, and see what it does when we ask it for local restaurants. Here's the microphone button up here. We'll hold this for Siri. What is a good pizza restaurant near here? So here you can see it's given me pizza restaurants on Google now, rated them A, B, C, D, or at least giving me options and giving me directions. I don't know that that's really a rating. It's more of a selection. I can select A and it will navigate to that if I want it to. So it's showing me where it is. So let me go back into Google now. So that's pretty cool. I can choose what I want. Here we have ratings on the iPhone. So it took a little bit longer, but actually came back with ratings. Sometimes they've shown examples of that on Google now. However, I haven't gotten it to do that for the area I live in, and that may be part of the early development of this. So let's go ahead and see how well uh, they both respond to navigation commands. Now Google's already done this, but let's try it anyway. Navigate to Carousel Center Mall. Navigating. Looking for a local businesses named Carousel Center Mall. So you can see how fast that is. It's asking me to accept the terms. To Gino and, Joe's pizza. <laughs> and that's interesting because I didn't ask it for directions. So for to Gino and Joe's pizza, but it is finding directions to the mall. And unfortunately it's not perfect. And that might be part of the, the beta uh, of the actual OS, but I thought I'd show that. So it's pretty interesting uh, how fast the Google one is. I'm actually an iPhone user and I started using the Android phone uh, about the time Jelly Bean came out and so I thought I would try and use it as my full-time phone as I've ordered one soon. If you watch a lot of sports or search for sports, I personally don't, but if you do it will actually keep you updated with sports and, and that sort of thing as well. Uh, let's go ahead and ask it who the president is. Who is the president of the United States? United States of America Let is Barack take. Obama. So you, can, answer your question. Barack Obama. so you can see the Galaxy Nexus came back pretty fast uh, with that result, and that was pretty impressive, and it has a nice little picture with it. So it's a different way to do the same information, and uh, so you can definitely appreciate that, uh, either, either if you're an Apple user or you're a Google user or an Android user. So let's go ahead and ask it for some sports scores. What was the score of the last Yankees game? I'm in ups. The Rays, four to three. Let's see. New York narrowly defeated Tampa Bay by a score of four to three today. 
So you can see we got the same results, uh, but it's formatted slightly differently, and the Galaxy Nexus definitely got it quicker. I don't know that that really is too big of a, of a deal for some people, uh, but it's really very impressive that it gets it that quickly on the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can find some pictures. Show me pictures of the Galaxy Nexus. If you like, I can search the web for pictures of the Galaxy Nexus. So I'll go ahead and hit search the web. For pictures of the Galaxy Nexus. So you can see it takes an extra step with the iPhone. Uh, with the, you, they're the same pictures here. It takes an extra step. Uh, it's not a terrible pain, but it's really nice that the Google Now service actually does it that fast. It's pretty impressive, I think. Let me let me do one more search and see what it does here. Find pictures of an iPhone 4S. If you like, I can search the web for pictures of an iPhone 4S. So you can see here if I say find pictures on the Galaxy Nexus, it will only find pictures. It won't show me pictures. So let's try that again. Show me pictures of the iPhone 4S. If you like, I can search the web for pictures of the iPhone 4S. Searching the web for pictures of the iPhone 4S. So again, same process, not terribly difficult or anything, uh, but it's neat and interesting that the Galaxy Nexus does it that fast. So you do have to say this the right thing, as you often do with Siri as well, that I've used for quite some time. Let's try one more thing and ask it what the weather is for the next week. What is the weather for next week? Forecast for Liverpool. So I actually live in Baldwinsville, but I'm close to Liverpool. Weather out to July 15th, 2012. Here's how the next five days look. So they both gave me similar results. Uh, it's what you would expect. Apple formats it one way, Google formats it another. But you can you kind of get the idea at this point, I think. Overall, I really like both services. I really like Siri, and I really like Google now. Both of them are great. I wish they would combine uh, Google and Apple, but I would never see that happening in the uh, near future by any means. But it would be great to have the service combined and get that much smarter and do that much more stuff for everybody. Uh, overall, though, it'll be interesting to see what both of them do, both Apple and Google, over the next uh, six months to a year and see how these are improve. Google said that that Google Now will improve during their Google I.O. keynote. They said over time it will improve, and so has Apple said that it will continue to improve. So it'll be great to see what they do in the future. Now, if you have any questions or suggestions or, or anything you can suggest regarding uh, what you think of both services or or uh, Siri or whatever you want to call them, uh, please go ahead and place that in the comments below. I love to hear what you guys have to say about that. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.